Thank you for taking the time to view this how-to guide for making bail payments using PAEPay Bail via the UJS web portal. PAEPay Bail provides an alternate means to pay bail online from any computer using a credit or debit card. This video will explain what it means to be a depositor or payer versus a surety, walk you through the steps of how to make online bail e-payments, explain what cases are eligible for bail ePay payments, and provide contact information for support. Before we get started, here are some important things you need to know to make a PA ePay bail payment. In Philadelphia County, only municipal court cases are eligible for bail ePayments. A bail ePayment can be made at any computer with internet access. Making a bail ePayment will typically not work using a smartphone. PA ePay Bail provides the ability to make a bail payment online with a credit card or debit card. ePay Bail accepts payments using Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, or a debit card. There is a credit card transaction fee of $2.75 and a $10 to $20 Philadelphia County processing fee. With one exception, bail can only be paid on a single case per transaction. The exception being a blanket bond, which is a bail that covers multiple cases. When you make a bail e-payment, you are acting as the bail payer or depositor. Being the payer means that you give up your rights to claim the return of your money under the Pennsylvania Rules of Criminal Procedure. That said, you are not held responsible for the defendant appearing in court, for the defendant following their non-monetary bail conditions, or for paying any additional bail money ordered by the court. If you want to be eligible to get your money back, minus any court fees, you must become the surety. As the surety, however, you are responsible for the defendant appearing for scheduled court dates, for ensuring the defendant follows their non-monetary bail conditions, and you are liable to pay any additional bail money ordered by the judge. To become the surety, you must appear in person with your valid government-issued identification card at the Stout Justice Center or at the Kern Fromhold Correctional Facilities Bail Intake Window. The name on the ID must match the name on the credit card in order to complete the surety paperwork. If you want to become the surety, you need to make that decision before starting the PA ePay bail process. We will now walk through the process for making a bail e-payment. The website address is https colon backslash backslash ujsportal.pacourts.us. If you were to use a search engine such as Google, you could enter UJS and find a link to the site. Once on the home page, select e-commerce in the menu bar then PAEPay Bail in the drop-down. Here you will see a reminder of the accepted forms of payment as well as a reminder of the $2.75 credit card transaction fee. You can search for the case by either docket number or by name. First, we will search by docket number. In the Court Type drop-down, you will select Philadelphia Municipal Court. Remember, Common Pleas cases are not eligible for PA ePay bail in Philadelphia. Next, enter the parts of the docket number and click Search. The results will appear below. While you could click Pay here to continue your transaction, I want to demonstrate how to search by name. We will now modify to search by the name of the person who is in custody. In the Court Type drop-down, again select Philadelphia Municipal Court. Enter the defendant's full last name. The system will not return accurate results for partial last names. Then, enter the defendant's first name. If you are unsure of the exact spelling, enter at least the first two letters. If you have any further information, enter that as well, then click Search, and the results will return below. 
If you don't receive any search results, the defendant's case may not be eligible for PAE pay bail because the case has either a NEBIA order, has received certain case dispositions, the primary participant is marked as confidential, the case is sealed, the case is pending expungement, or a full bail post record may already exist. If you care to see a summary of the case to assure it is the correct one, hover over the icon with a magnifying glass, then select Docket Sheet. To move the case to the shopping cart to continue the payment process, click the Pay button. If you receive a message at this time stating, the case cannot have bail paid online, that means the bail has a non-monetary condition of either a psychological evaluation requested, surrender passport, surrender or confiscate driver's license, surrender weapons, surrender gun license, or a NEBIA order. You should contact the Bail Acceptance Unit for further information. When clicking Pay next to a PAE Pay eligible case, you will be forwarded to the Shopping Cart screen to continue the process. The Shopping Cart shows the total amount of the bail that was set. Sometimes the judge will order that only a percentage of the bail is due for the release of the defendant. If that is the case, you will see the percentage and then the amount due under Cash Bail Amount. Each PA ePay bail transaction cannot exceed $20,000 and is dependent on the credit card transaction limit. This limit does not include the convenience fee or other county-specific bail assessments. The payer can make separate transactions as their credit card limit permits. It is possible to make a part of the bail payment but know that the defendant will not be released until the full cash bail amount is paid. If you only make a partial posting, a message explains that the amount is less than what is due and that you will be checking out with an underpayment. Remember, if you choose to be the surety, you will be made responsible for the full bail amount if bail is ordered to be forfeited. Below the amount to pay field is the additional county fee that will be assessed based on if the case has a warrant in certain statuses. The subtotal will show you the sum of the bail payment and the county fee. It will not include the $2.75 transaction fee. Below you will find very important information including an explanation of what it means to be a depositor versus a surety, how warrants and detainers may affect the release of the defendant along with where to call to inquire about the defendant's warrant and detainer status, the contact information for the bail acceptance unit where you must call once you complete the ePay bail process, information about the administration costs that will be retained from the deposited amount, an explanation of how bail will be revoked and a warrant issued for the defendant in the event of a credit card chargeback. Once you have completely read the text, click the checkbox and the checkout button. At this point you have been transferred to the third party U.S. Bank website for payment. Be assured that no credit card information is stored due to this process and your credit card information is never shared with the Pennsylvania courts. Next, you will begin to enter the payment information. Complete the contact information section including the country you reside in, for example, the U.S., phone number, and an email address. In the Payment Methods section, first select your payment method, then complete the rest of the fields, including the credit card number, expiration date, month, and year, and the three-digit card security code, which can be found on the back of your card by the signature line. In order for your credit card transaction to be successful, you must deselect the checkbox which will process the card as a debit card. Select whether you want to use the contact information for your billing address or to enter a different address. And below is the reminder of the $2.75 transaction fee that will be added to the payment amount on the next screen. Click Continue. The next page allows you to review your payment information. The total amount shows the sum of the bail payment, county fee, and convenience fee. 
This is the amount that you are agreeing to pay and the amount that your credit card will be charged. If anything is incorrect, use the back button at the bottom of the screen to make corrections. Otherwise, click Confirm to complete the transaction. The confirmation page will give you a confirmation number, which lets you know the transaction was successfully completed. While you do have the ability to print this page by selecting the Print This Page link, I suggest you wait until the next page. Click Continue. By selecting to print a receipt from this screen, you will also receive all of the conditions that you agree to before starting the transaction, including the phone number for the bail acceptance unit, which you must now contact that you have completed the transaction. A summary receipt will be sent to the email address you provided, but the email version will not include the additional information. Please keep in mind, this website provides an alternate means of paying bail. Unpaid bail balances will not be updated until payments are processed by the court. The AOPC makes no guarantees regarding the timelines of an online payment and its effect on the release of the person from custody. Even if bail is paid in full, a defendant will not be released if they have an outstanding warrant and or detainers from any other jurisdiction. Also, if the defendant is currently on probation or parole, it is possible that a detainer will be placed which will prevent the release of the defendant. Call the Curran from Hold Correctional Facility Records Room to inquire about holds or detainers that may prevent the defendant from being released upon bail payment. If you need assistance to complete this process, you can call the CPCMS Help Desk, which is available Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. PAEPA provides an alternate means to make bail payments for certain municipal court cases in Philadelphia. Bail e-payments can be made from any computer with an internet connection using Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express, or a debit card. Also, Philadelphia County's Bail Acceptance Unit is available 24 hours a day. Don't forget to also call this number once you complete your PAEPay bail transaction.